Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 10 where we are learning a great deal on circles. This is episode number 11 and today's topic friends is that the lengths of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are of same lengths. So friends in the last episode, episode 10 we saw that from an external point which is a point outside a circle you can draw only two tangents to that circle. So in this webisode, the theorem, this is actually a theorem and we should also add that this is the second very, very, very important theorem. So there was a first theorem that we saw, I think two webisodes ago, and this is the second and the final theorem that we are going to learn for circles and tangents. So this theorem tells us that the, the lengths of the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle those two tangents are of same length. So friends, like we always do, let's first find out what is the theorem telling us. So here we have drawn ourselves a circle and let's say the center is O. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take an external point. Let's say this external point is P. Now we are going to draw the two tangents. So this is tangent 1, this is tangent 2. And these two tangents they touch the circle at two fixed points. So let's call this point as A and let's call this point as B. So from one external point to a circle, we can draw only two tangents, so PA and PB. So the theorem is telling us that the length of this must be the same. In other words, PA must be equal to PB. This is what the theorem is telling us. Like I said, this is a very, very important theorem and as we start to solve questions on circles and tangents, you will make use of this almost always. So let's find out now how do we prove this. So here we have our circle with center O and this is the external point P and let's say this is point A and point B. So what we are going to do is we are going to first join OA and OB and then O and P. We are going to join these lines OA, OB and OP. Now friends I am going to show you two ways of proving this theorem. So first is the more conventional way which is that if you compare this triangle and this triangle now this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. So why are these angles 90 degrees? The reason these two angles are 90 degrees is that now PA is tangent to circle with center O. Now PA is tangent. Now at the point where the PA touches the circle O, we have drawn a radius OA. So from the first theorem, if this is our radius, OA is a radius which is drawn from the point where PA is tangent, then the radius and the tangent, they are perpendicular to each other. So, because of that, we can say OAP is 90 degrees. For the exact same reason, we will say OBP is also equal to 90 degrees because PB is a tangent and OB is a radius. This is 90 degrees. Now, OA is equal to OB. Both are radius of the same circle. So these two are the radius of the same circle, so they are both of the same length. Now this length is common, OP is common to both the triangles. This is a common side and this is the hypotenuse, right? Because the side opposite to 90 degree, this is 90 degree, so the side opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse and this is actually common to both the sides. So we can say that then we can actually write this as triangle O A P. This triangle and triangle O B P. These two triangles are actually congruent triangles. We have seen what is the meaning of congruent triangles. These two triangles are congruent by the theorem R H S which is a right angle hypotenuse side congruence theorem. As per that, these two triangles are congruent by RHS theorem. Now we know that if these two triangles are congruent, they are identical and corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So because of that, this length 
must be equal to this length and so PA must be equal to PB and hence it is proved that the two tangents length of two tangents PA and PB are the same. Now what about the second method? The second method goes something like this. So if you look at triangle OAP, this is a right angle triangle, right? So AP, we can, from Pythagoras theorem, we can say that AP square, AP square plus R square, this is OA, let's say this radius is R, R square is equal to OP square because this is a right triangle OAP and this is the hypotenuse. So as the Pythagoras theorem, R square plus AP square is equal to OP square. So this is equal to OP square. Or from here we can say that AP square is equal to OP square minus R square. Now if you look at this right triangle OBP, so this is again a right triangle. So from here we can say PB square or BP square, BP square plus R square, which is this one, R square is equal to OP square, the hypotenuse. Or from here, you can say that BP square is equal to OP square minus R square. So what you will notice is that we don't know what is the value of OP, but AP square is equal to OP square minus R and BP square is also equal to OP square minus R. So even though we don't know what is the value of R and OP, but AP square is this value and BP square is this value. So we can say both the squares are the same. It means AP square is equal to BP square or AP is equal to BP. So this is one other way in which you can prove it. So friends, for the rest of the webisode, we are going to try to write the, the proof itself in a nice clear way, the way you would want to write it in the exam. And we will use, for the purposes of this webisode, we are going to use this technique, the more conventional technique. So now, first we are going to write what is given. So we, we have a circle with center O. P is an external point. We draw two tangents from P to the circle. So let's first draw our circle. So here we have our circle with center O. We have the point P, which is the external point, And PA and PB are the two tangents. This is what we have. Now we write what is that we have to prove. We have to prove that PA is equal to PB. This is what we have to prove. Then we write all the construction. So the first constru construction is join O and A. So we do that. Then we join O and B, O and B, and also O and P or P and O, which will be like this. So now that we have finished our construction, now what we will see is that let's now begin the proof itself. So if we look at, let's write it, so P, A, B, and this is a center O. If you consider OAP and OBP, OAP and OBP, these two triangles, if you look at these two triangles, what do we see? We know that OA equal to OB, so these two lengths are equal because both are radius of the same circle, so they should be equal. Next, OP is a common side, so that we see that OP is common. And angle OAP equals angle OBP and both are 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees. Now why are these two angles 90 degrees? Because we know that the radius and the tangent are perpendicular to each other. So both of them are 90 degrees. So we say that these two triangles are congruent and they are congruent by RHS congruence rule and hence because we know corresponding sides in congruent triangles are equal we can write PA equals PB and hence it is proved that the length of the two tangents drawn from an external point 
both these lengths are the same. 